Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the build of the week. So we're going to be looking at how you can build the youth category. So basically youth is a category they recently got quite a few buffs uh, and I thought it'd be a great time to look at the category in general, how strong it is and just what you can do with it. And youth has always been one of those, you know, teams that kind of exists just below the top bracket of the teams. I always find youth is a very strong, very capable category that always feels just a step behind some of the top, top teams, but still a very, very good category. And it's got a lot of different conditional builds. But Youth is led uh, by a couple units. It's led by the Int Goku Youth. He was the first original Youth lead. Uh, and yeah, he's really, really solid. Then the second one is Gotenks. He was the second Youth lead. He's a bit of a lower level lead now uh, for Youth category, but still usable if you want to. And then finally, the last one and the latest one is Goku Youth again physical Goku youth and he's a 200% lead so he covers the youth category and covers 30% for DB seekers and bond of friendship which covers quite a sizable portion uh, of the youth category so overall he's a pretty good lead now youth can be divided into I want to say three or four sections so you get like the hybrid sands youth teams these have a lot of Gotenks, Gotens, Trunks Kids, Pans, Bullers, um, yeah, Gohan Kid uh, is also involved. And this is a pretty strong team. Like this one has a lot of good synergy, especially between the Gotens and the Trunkses. Then you have the like DB Saga youth team. A lot more limited, but still very strong. We have premier units here. We have Int Youth Goku. We have Physical Youth Goku. We have Physical Chi Chi, who's very, very good. We have Physical Bulma, who's very, very good. So we have a lot we have a lot of premier units here. Like small category, very strong category. And then we have what I call the Goku's Family Youth team, which I think is probably the next hybrid category. This is where you can kind of stick a bunch of Gokus with a bunch of Gohans. They have all in the family. They tend to be a good selection. And then finally, the fourth, although questionable, is Margin Boo Saga. I think that's, you know, probably where things sit nicely. So yeah, uh, very, very simple. The best lead is Goku. Uh, no matter what, Goku's gonna be your best lead if you have him. The reason being, it doesn't actually matter about his link set because he's got 50% support. Now, in terms of important links, it's going to vary on what build you go. But generally speaking, the big category that's going to be excluded from everyone else is DB Saga. Here they have Guidance of the Dragon Balls, they have the Incredible Adventure, they have Turtle School. They have very different mixes of links compa compared to like the other units. You know, they don't have the standard link sets that you might find. So these generally are a bit different. That's why they're such a smaller niche category, but they're still very strong. Uh, Dragon Ball is very, very strong. Uh, if you've got the right units, it, possibly the strongest variant of the team, actually. Then uh, we get into kind of the more generic links. We get things like the Innocence, Shattering the Limit, Prepared for Battle, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, these are more common amongst just generic hybrid Saiyans units. Things like Goten, things like Trunks, things like Kid Gohans, Pans. These units have these links. Like they share these links. Even Goten shares these links. Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Fam, well, sorry, not All in the Family, Shadow the Limit. You can kind of build around that, and that kind of falls into the hybrid Saiyans category. And then, you know, then we start to look at. Um, all in the family for the more Goku orientated. But yeah, there's plenty of great pairings you can run. You don't need to build into any specific niche of the category. You can build into a all-round team. 
that's the beauty of youth. I actually think it's got good pairings for each rotation and good floating supports that suit both sections quite well. So I do think there is quite a strong like ability for this team to run nicely. So if we talk about like you know units obviously as you can see there is a super saiyan element as well that you can kind of flood into so you're starting to see how many different niche builds there are actually to youth it's not just a category that's limited there's a lot of mechanisms and mechanics that you can use to really stick um you know everything together personally speaking so yeah for me um obviously like i said goku is the predominant lead i think you take him as um uh, your friend lead regardless of whatever lead you're running i think he's just by far the best his 50 percent support is crucial uh to elevating the team so having two of them is great having one of them is still very very good beyond that uh, you can build the team a couple ways obviously there's like the db saga build uh, which I think is pretty, I want to say pretty evident. Uh, Chi Chi Youth, great unit. Uh, you've got you know, great floating units like Pan, uh, who I think is great. Obviously doesn't fall in the DB Saga, but she's just an exceptional unit. Lots of versatility, good in a lot of situations. You've got some great floating supports. Uh, Pan, this Goten. Uh, you've also got AGL Kid Gohan, who's a fantastic support. So there's a lot of good, good units. And there's great SBR units here because a lot of these units have stuns as well. Chi Chi, AGL Kid Gohan, uh, Pan, all have stunning capabilities. Incredibly useful in a lot of content, even some red zones. So it's pretty clutch. Um, I think you can also build these teams this way because there's a lot of variance within them. Uh, and I think you know, a lot of these units can float successfully. That's not to say that every team or every unit is functioning at their full capacity, uh, but generally speaking, I think you have enough to play with that you can really chop and change this team. Uh, running different multiple rotations, Goku's ability to float and support is huge. And yeah, I just think there, there's so much this category can bring. I think there's such a beautiful way to build this category uh goten and trunks orientated i think is exceptional uh, i think it makes a really really good team there's some premier Go goten and trunks units um like right off the bat there's some super strong ones you can run a full margin Buu saga team with this um you can run a full movie heroes team with youth like you you can run so many categories like if i took the youth category i think you could easily clear 10 to 12 sbr and esbr with these units like i think you could you could run so many successful sbr and esbr stages if we're talking top top units i think there is a clear best team or at least units i feel are probably your go-to units physical kid goku being one of them i think end kid goku after his easy a is definitely one of them i think uh, you've got some super duper solid options uh, in the form of AGL Kid Gohan, who I think is exceptional. Uh, then you've got the AGL Goten uh, or, and Physical Trunks. I think that's exceptional. You've got this Goku's Family build that I'm showcasing here, uh, which I think can do an, a great job. Uh, you've got Pan for healing, B Pan. You've got the free to play LR, uh, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. You've got actually a ton of great free-to-play options and if you look at your free-to-play options they're actually fairly impressive uh, when you consider the kinds of units that you can actually pull together as free-to-play units i think it's actually really really good you've got this great Saman, the db heroes one he's actually a support he's really solid uh, you've got obviously the goku and bulma who are great after their easy a you've got this uh, exploding rage gohan you've got this gohan although he's a bit better on the goku's family with another goku but still there are actually some really strong free-to-play options uh, which i think is great b pan being one of them 
And so you, you just have a huge variety of great options. Like if you just got the free to play options alone and managed to pull Goku or Kid Goku, you could run a team that could carry you through a lot of content, like a lot of content, maybe not red zone quality with the free to play units, but probably about as close as, as maybe like the Ginyu Force. I think the Ginyu Force is probably one of the few teams that functions better. There's a lot of reasons because of that, but yeah, I think youth is a very underrated category, and I, I honestly quite enjoy using youth. Uh, getting Kid Goku, having Kid Goku has just elevated youth, uh, even as a friend. Like, using him as a friend elevates youth so much. Uh, these units function crazy with this 50% support, this 200% leader skill. It's huge. It, it really is a big, big boost for the category. Don't underestimate how many units on youth are under DB Seekers and Bond of Friendship. So many units. And so it's going to be really fun to see uh, how this team does in Red Zone and in the SBR. Super excited to try it out. And yeah, uh, I think that's, that's pretty much everything. So yeah, I'll leave you guys with a team that I think will be exceptional. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe. But let me know your thoughts and what you think about the youth category and how to build a team. Bye.